Of course, I mean, like one of the things that you were a part of that still has such a huge support, of course, is Gossip Girl. I just wondered, I'm interested to know, is there like ever a sense when, you, when you've been in something that has created a fan base that's that strong and also is still collect, constantly bringing in new fans because of it being on streaming, is there almost a sense of like surrendering to it? I mean, because I know some actors kind of fight against, fight, can fight back against sort of certain roles or you hear actors say, oh, I don't want to be known for this, whatever. but ultimately, is do you sort of learn to think this is a sign of affection when fans latch onto a character and is it something that ultimately you have to embrace and is that a process you do have to go to when there is a role that popular i fucking love it it's amazing it fucking is i was on i was in london earlier today i was walking along i had my hood up because it was raining and this 12 year old 12 year old i swear she was 12 year old 12 she was with her mother went ah i went ah hi and she went can i have a picture with you i went yeah of course I was like 12 years old. I'm like, well, the fucking Gossip Girl finished like 12 years ago. Like what? It blows my mind. Blows my mind. I, I, I do these fan conventions where I go and I meet these people who love Gossip Girl and other stuff. And they'll be there to meet other actors and celebrities, whatever. But we take pictures, we do Q&As, we do panels. And these people are amazing. And we talk about the show. We talk about other stuff. And it blows my mind that we're still doing this and the show like is trending on netflix like every couple of weeks or whatever and it's just like what is going on it's just crazy so i i am so so I've, it's like a weird thing it's like i've got all of these people in the world that watch this show and it meant something to them and they'll still talk about it it's like having it's like having like i don't know i'm just thinking about it now it's like say you went on a vacation years ago or you went to a summer camp or something like that and you had these buddies and you shared this amazing experience with it's like that with the fans because we've all shared this experience of gossip girl you know which is nuts it's nuts man i mean i don't i i, I don't know it's it's just nuts there's no way to like i mean how cool like you're lucky if you get on one one series let alone a hit series in your life as an actor and then to have something that's had the longevity of this is mental. It's absolutely mental. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm in awe. It's like a phenomenon to me. I'm in awe of, of what it's done and the impact it's had. It's just, it's more than a show. It's crazy. Did you foresee, when, when you were making it, did you foresee it having that kind of, because I guess you can never tell as an actor, but could you tell you were onto, to, onto a winner in that regard? Could you see yourself? Yeah, we, we could. People? We could when it was, well, it had some fundamental ingredients that made it ready for success. And that was the fact that it had the writers of the OC, which had already been a hit. The fact that it was a popular series of books. So that was like, okay, cool. We're on to, you know, good, good ingredients there. And then it just became its own thing, man. And just went on and on and it was fantastic. So I mean, it, you know, when I it, the funny thing is, is when you're filming it and you're in real time, I don't think you appreciate what you not appreciate. I appreciated that I was on the show, but you don't appreciate the impact it's having. Or, and you obviously can't know that it, 10, 15 years later, we're going to still be talking about it because you're just rolling with it. And I was a different person then. I was much younger. I was 19 to 25 when I was on the show. And now I have the luxury of experience and age and hindsight and everything like that to reflect on it and i'm in awe i'm in awe of just having been part of something that was as i say so massive ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys <laughs> hey you guys <laughs> hey that's what they all say hey you guys